Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on the percent equation. Your objective today is that you will use the percent equation to find parts, wholes, and percents. The question I want you thinking about as we proceed through the lesson today is how can you write and use an equation to solve a percent problem? So if we're thinking about what we're going to do in a meaningful way, it will make more sense as you move on. First, I want to derive the percent equation so that it makes sense to you and it's not just some random formula. If you understand what it is, then there's really not even a need to memorize it. It's just a matter of understanding and knowing how to you know, apply it. So we will use the definition of percent to discover the percent equation. So you should remember back to your previous learning that a percent is a ratio. It's a ratio of a part or over a whole. So a percent is a part of a whole. So we're going to use this today to show. Now when we write an equation, be sure to write a percent as a decimal when you create an equation. So an algebraic equation can't have that percent symbol in it. You're not going to see that. So we're going to convert a percent to a decimal to use it algebraically in an equation. So that's the first thing to note, and we'll revisit that later on in the lesson. So in order to rewrite this so that it's not any longer a percent is equal to a ratio, I'm going to multiply both sides of the um, equation because I have an equal sign so that makes it an equation and I'm saying that the percent is equal to the ratio part over whole but I want it to be one line one equation a linear equation so I'm going to multiply both sides by whole and that clears the denominator which you'll learn about later on in algebra but right now just take my word for it and when we do that a whole divided by a whole anything divided by itself is one over here I'm left with a whole times a percent, and all I'm left with here in the numerator is the part, part all over one. So now I can use commutative property of multiplication to rewrite this to be a part equals a percent up times a whole. And this could be read in English. So mathematically, it says a part equals percent times whole. But in the English language, it would be the part is represents the equal sign a percent of the whole of multiply so when you're going to see an equation a mathematical an english sentence sorry you're going to change it into a mathematical sentence with which is an equation and this is why it works so i'm going to show you two ways so you can Embrace the fact that a part is equal to a percent of a whole, which is just really rearranging this. So a percent is a part of a whole. A part is a percent of a whole. All right. So using properties of algebra, we have rewritten this so that we have an equation. So let's proceed and use it. So we're going to use a percent equation to solve this. What number is 55% of 80? We're going to use the idea of the part is a percent of the whole. Remembering that part equals percent times whole. So if we know that, that a part is a percent of a whole, we just need to fill in all the blanks. So we're going to go up here and fill that in. What's the part? Is the part. Percent is easy. It has the percent symbol. And of the whole, right? A part is a percent of the whole. So of is that key word that signifies that that is the whole. So you can revisit the percent proportion and that will revisit some of these keywords. But we've identified our whole to be 80. So now we just need to substitute in what we know. Our part is unknown, so we're going to use x equal to our percent written as a decimal because we're using it in an equation multiplied of and then 80. So notice that even if you didn't know this, we didn't learn this, you didn't memorize this, think about translating from a foreign language to English. So we're going to take this English and translate it to math. What number means I don't know. Variable is equal to 55%, 0 0.55, 
of multiply 80 goes in as a number. So even if you didn't have this memorized, you don't need it because you know how to translate the English language into the mathematical language. All right, let's solve this. So 0 0.55 or 55 hundredths multiplied by 80 is equal to 44. So my solution is 44 is the 55% of 80, which makes sense because 50% of 80 would be half, which is 40. So 55% is just a little bit more than half, and 44 is just a little bit more than of 40. So it makes sense. All right, your turn. I would like you to pause the video, write an equation that represents what number is 24% of 50, solve it, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Good luck. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So our solution is our part is unknown. What number is equal to percent written as a decimal of our whole 50 multiply by 50. I'm going to multiply 0 0.24 multiplied by 50 is 12. So our solution is that 12 is 24% of 50. All right, now I'd like you to try this one. Now you're gonna find the percent is what you don't know. So reminding you that this percent is gonna become X. So go ahead and translate this into a mathematical equation and solve. Hit pause, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So our solution is that our part is 9.5 equal to our percent, we don't know, that's our x, and our whole is 25. So now I need to solve for x, and it's being multiplied by 25. The inverse of that is to divide both sides by 25. Nine and a half divided by 25 is 38 hundredths or 0 0.38. To answer the question, that is 38%. So nine and a half is 38% of 25. All right, here's another one for you to try. Now I'm telling you that the whole is missing. Okay, while we're practicing, I'm giving you that. So our what number is our whole? Please write the equation, solve. So pause and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So our part here is 39 is equal to our percent written as a decimal and our unknown is our whole. So I need to solve for x so to undo multiply by 0 0.52, I'm going to divide both sides by 52 hundredths. Doing this math, 39 divided by 0 0.52 is 75. So my solution is 75. 39 is 52% of 75. Okay, your turn. Now I'm not giving you any hints. You have to identify the missing part. Write an equation and solve for the solution. Please pause and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So here is our percent equation. Three is our part equal to our percent. What percent is unknown? So that's our X and our whole of 600. So to solve for x, you need to divide both sides by 600. 3 divided by 600 is 0 0.005, which would be read 5 one thousandths. Now we've got to go back and answer our question. They were looking for the percent, so we need to convert this decimal to a percent, moving the decimal point two spaces to the right, so our percent is 0 0.5%, so one half. Of a percent. So 3 is half a percent of 600 or 0 0.5. All right, here's another one for you. Again, I'm not giving you any hints. Please pause, write your equation, and solve. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So our percent equation, 
Our part is what we don't know. What number is? That's our part. Then we're going to write 150% as a decimal. Remember, you're moving the decimal two spaces to the left to go from percent to decimal. And multiply by our whole, which is 40. So to solve, we just need to multiply 1 and a half by 40, which is equal to 60. So our solution is that 60 is 150% of 40. Okay, one more. Please go ahead and write your equation, solve, and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So our percent equation, our part is 90, which is equal to 18% written as a decimal and multiplied by the unknown whole x. To solve for x, I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.18. 90 divided by 0 0.18 is 500. So my solution is that 90 is 18% of 500. One last question for you today during our lesson. Can you rearrange these five items to make the percent equation? Go ahead and pause. Write it down. Come back and hit play to check your work. Welcome back. So, remembering back to our sentence that the phrase is written, the part is a percent of a whole. That is the English, right? The mathematical is part equals, that's our is, percent multiplied by whole. Remember that multiply is the of. The is is the equal. Part equals percent multiplied by whole, which makes sense. A part is a percent of a whole. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this clarified any confusion you had relative to the percent equation, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and register for notifications and come back to learn more with me soon. Have a good day.